Welcome to the newfound friends of Homework Friday. I'd like to take a second to give a shout out to all of our folks though, that are supporting us over on Patreon. We really appreciate you guys. All these names you guys see scrolling at the bottom of the screen here. These are all our Patreon folks that are at the uh, whatever level it is that you get a shout out at. <laughs> and it's been really cool. Finally going to be hashing out some snakes pretty soon. So you folks are going to be getting the first crack at any available animals on top of all the other benefits that you guys know you get. Uh, as far as daily content and the personalized live streams, but just wanted to give you guys a quick shout out and let's get back, get back in there and do some waters. Shall we? Where did Shelly go? Top of the morning, friends and family. How we doing today? Look who we got down here. It's little Missy Moon. It's my Moon Tay. She's helping out today. Mommy's working, and so it's uh, it's us. We got we got the baby girl. This is gonna be a first because we got the boys too. So I've never yet ever filmed and tried to shoot a vlog with all three kids under my supervision. So wish us luck. I can't believe I'm pointing this out to you right now. There's a video I recorded a long time ago of. Me trying to teach Noah how to feed snakes with Eli strapped to my chest as a baby. Here's the link right here. Oh, that hurts. I don't want to show you guys that. No, it's there. Oh. So let me tell you guys a little bit about what's going on today. I've been assigned a homework assignment. I was on our buddy TJ. I was on our buddy TJ. I was on our buddy TGH's stream the other night, and he was handing out homework assignments to people. I, like a dummy, commented and said that homework and I were old mortal enemies, but that I was willing to make a truce. And so my assignment was to make a video that explains where new keepers, new reptile keepers can, what they can do to find good information on reptile keeping. So that's going to be part of this video. Also, also, I'm going to be telling you guys about a challenge that I'm doing that was inspired by my buddy Mr. Garrett Hartle over Reach Out Reptiles. He's always coming in with good ideas and sometimes bad ideas, usually good ideas. And even his good ideas, I'll sit there and be like, eh, it sounds like a good idea, but I don't think I'm going to do it. And this is one of those ideas that I've been putting off for a long time because I didn't really want to do it, but we're going to do it. And I'll talk about that later. Moon, you might want to stay tuned for that because it involves you guys. But for now, boys! What time is it? Um, snake hot! Every week we fill up the snake waters and oh, Eli's ready to go. <laughs> we change out the deli cups once a week. Uh, we always get fresh water every day, but once a week, the waters get changed. Hey Noah. What? What do you know? I know. I know. Eggs. What about eggs? That some could be snake eggs and some could be. Uh, some could be. Uh, bird eggs and some could be. Some could be. Dinosaur eggs. Your face is a mess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's I know. Hey Eli, what do you know? I know. Centipedes. Centipedes? Yeah. What about centipedes? That the will big and the bite. That and that's what I know. <laughs> Moosh, what do you know? I promise you guys, the day that she says, I know, she's getting her own theme music.
Bye. Okay. Those boys did good job, man. I gotta give a big thank you to Noah Sage for running the camera. Running the big boy camera. We had a little camera that he was, what the heck is that? Okay. We had a little camera that he was using that got stolen in the car stuff. We haven't replaced the little one yet, but uh, <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna need to get one because he's running the big boy camera now. That was pretty good. And then Eli, of course, on point with the water changing. So to the homework assignment, how to make sure you're finding quality information when you're a new keeper and you're looking to learn everything you can. I'm gonna break it down to four different parts. The first one, and maybe most obvious, is the internet. The internet is a wonderful tool you can use to connect with people and information from all over the world. And at the same time, it's a double-edged sword because there's lots of misinformation out there as well. And you kind of have to pick and choose your information there. There's so many people with so much information out there. And the biggest problem I find with the internet as a source of information is just that it's all over the place sometimes. I mean, you could be getting good information from a person that knows what they're talking about, but they live in a completely different climate and region of the world than you. You know, they might be in the desert, so what works for them might not work for you if you're living somewhere tropical. So it, you have to take that into account when you're using the internet. But if you can find some solid people there that are, have been doing it for a long time, it's a great way to keep in touch with people that can help point you in the right direction. Maybe less obvious these days, but one of the better ones, I think, is books. Books are such a wealth of information. And the great thing is you're getting it from one single person who spent a lot of time compiling information and likely has experience and knows what they're talking about if you get the right book. So I've got many books on keeping snakes. Not so much, I'm a snake guy, so. But whatever reptile, whatever species you're looking for, Guaranteed there's several books on it. I would recommend getting a plethora of books and absorbing all the information you can out of each one of them. Number three, this is a little tougher to come by sometimes, but if you're lucky enough and you have somebody that lives near you that has been keeping for a long time, those are really great ways to learn as a new keeper. You learn from somebody who's been doing it and you see what they're doing. Ask if you can intern with them, help them out with their stuff. Something they've been doing for a long time. You can learn a lot from somebody who already has the years and years of experience ahead of you. They're gonna be able to teach you things. And you being a new keeper, you might be able to teach them some things too they'd maybe have looked over or didn't think about. Now the fourth way is your own experience. Nothing you read, nothing anybody tells you is ever gonna prepare you as much as learning for yourself and doing it for yourself. You know, as I said, somebody can tell you all day long how to sex a snake. Somebody can show you right in front of you how this is how you sex a snake. Until you try to do it yourself, you just, you're not gonna know how to do it. You can't figure out how to sex a snake by hearing somebody tell you or watching somebody show you how to do it. You have to feel it yourself and figure that out yourself, you know, under, under proper supervision for something like that. Or, or anything, just keeping your snake and, and paying attention, like knowing just to look in the tub and see, okay, is my snake huddled up in the back all the time? Or is it always up at the front? Is it sitting somewhere in the middle? And learning to read your snake. So experience, your own personal experience is the number one teacher, the number one teacher. You will learn more from that than anything else. But having all those other things to get you set up first before you have to learn from your own personal experience so you don't make the same mistakes other people made, can't, can't, uh, can't tell you how, <laughs> you get it. This girl's being so good now. I only had to hold her for the whole water changing thing. Oh Moon, you're doing so good now. Oh. Now for the challenge. This is the challenge that I was talking about. So Garrett has always tried to tell me, delegate your editing to other people. But the thing for me has always been, I like editing my videos. Nobody can edit a video like I do. It's my own personal flavor, my own style. I do it the way I do it. Nobody else can do it that way because it's mine. And for some reason, I don't know what it is. He just wants me to not edit my videos. He's been pushing this on me for like a year now or something. Brian, just really try and delegate somebody to, so you free up your time to do, but I, and I told him today, no dude, I like editing my videos. It's not, it's not like work for me so much. It's therapeutic, I enjoy it, I, I look forward to it. When I'm shooting something, as I'm shooting, I'm thinking, oh man, this is gonna be great to edit. I love editing. And he doesn't, for some reason. <laughs> so, here's the challenge. Leave a comment down below if you want in on this challenge and I will send you all the footage from the previous vlog which was the snake feeding and hunting for lizards and it was my, kind of my, part of my birthday party and I'll send you all the raw footage from that and give you a month, a whole month to do the best edit you possibly can. Your free range for you to edit it however you see fit 
Just take all my raw footage and make your own cut. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna critique it, and I'm gonna send you back everything I think you did wrong, everything I think could've been better, and just give you pointers on how I think it could be better. And if I really like it, if I think you did a really good job, I'll feature you here on the channel with your edit. Or at least parts of your edit, you know, the whatever I thought was the best. And, and that's it, that's the challenge in a nutshell, man. I'll send you footage, you do your best version of editing my footage that you think you can do, and I'll tell you how bad you did. <laughs> Seriously. So, if that sounds like something you're into, please leave a comment down below, and I'll make sure to get you that footage. It's a lot, so I, I might have to expand my Dropbox capabilities to be able to get it to you, because it's, a, you know, we're talking about gigabytes of footage, like multiple, many, many gigabytes of footage. So I, I'm excited. I'm hoping there's some of you guys out there that are up to the challenge, that think you can give a crack and see if you can... What, I, what I'd really be excited to see is if somebody could make it better than I did, you know, I'm giving you a whole month, so you should have plenty of time, depending on how busy you are, to do the best job you can and really wow me and really wow everybody else. But again, the big prize for the challenge is me critiquing and telling you how it could have been better. So if that's something you're into... I think before we get out of here, Eli wants to show us his king snake. Two hands. You want to tell us about your snakey Eli? Yeah. What's up with her? Ew, what is that smell? Oh, maybe she, maybe she peed on you a little bit. I don't know. What kind of, you. what kind of snake is she? Um, a king and a king snake and Jerry. Uh, so now I'm gonna go outside with Jerry. Oh, let's leave her inside. But I thought you were. Say I can bring Sally outside. Yeah, we'll keep her inside for now. We'll bring her outside on, when it's warm tomorrow, okay? Okay. But Sally likes cold. Does she like cold? Yeah. Are you sure about that? I think snakes like it to be warm. I think snakes like it to be cold. No, you silly. <laughs> no, you got my too snakey. No, you got my yeah! Thank you guys for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed our day. <laughs> it's a little, little wild, a little crazy, trying to wrangle everything and keep everything under control. I think the kids did pretty good though. Daddy? What's up? Mm -hmm. 